So today in this video, I'm going to show you or I'm going to tell you how to install and configure K-Lite Correct Pack with LAV filters and FFD show processor for best audio results. So first, you need K-Lite Correct Pack Mega Edition. Not standard, not basic, not full. You need Mega. So first, download and install latest version of K-Lite Correct Pack. So in this first step, you have to select advanced and in this step, in preferred audio decoder section, you have to select LAV decoder plus FFD show processor. Now press next, keep pressing next. Now in decoding method, if you have a NVIDIA GPU like me, I select NVIDIA CUVID and if you have an Intel GPU or onboard GPU use software decoding or DXVA2 copyback now video renderer it is the most important part of this step so if your PC is pretty weak or you don't have any kind of super or entry level GPU like me so keep it default with enhanced video render custom presenter and if you want more advanced video settings and heavy processing use Medvia actually I have NVIDIA GPU and by the way EVR I mean enhanced video render should be nice for you If you have studio setup, a uh, 2.1 system from a fixed manufacturer like a Sony and any other big or small brand, please select studio. And if you have a 5.1 surround setup like me, as you can see here, I have 5.1 surround system fully configured with real tech audio chipset. So I select 5.1 surround. And I don't want to bitstream my audio to uh, audio receiver or some kind of gadget or device so I don't select enable option here now setup is complete finish and now launch our player with a movie if your MKV files or M, M mostly MKV files if are not associated with this player or MPC Please associate them with this. So, now, here I am using Dolby Atmos Audio. I mean Dolby Atmos Base True HD or True HD Base Dolby Atmos. So, is a proof for you. As you can see, it has Dolby Atmos. And same time it has true HD also so I'm using this for my audio configuration just for demo purpose you can configure this player on any kind of audio correct so launch your movie and hit stop now go to our LAV audio recorder and if you want to use dynamic range compression on AC3 like uh, Dolby 640kbps or other Dolby lossy audio codecs like 384, 224, 320, 448 select this option if you don't want to use dynamic range compression disable this option and if your sound card supports 24-bit audio format like me Untick all these options except 24 bit. Now go to the mixing tab and don't select anything here because you don't want to use LAV's mixing here. So please leave it and 
this is it now go to FFD show audio processor and here is the most important stuff use volume for your channel mapping or for your channel configuration so here you can see which channels playing now go to Dolby decoder if you have a studio setup or two channel setup don't use this option it will give you a lot of crackling in sounds don't use it if you have a 5.1 or 7.1 channel setup then use this option here I have 5.1 that's why I'm using this option otherwise I don't have to now go to LFE crossover select this option and if you now select this option you can set cutoff frequency as per your need here I'm using 170 Hertz and now go to mixing tab or mixer option and if you have two channel setup you will find here uh, like this the studio here I have 5.1 setup that's why I'm getting this option five channels and I have 5.1 that's why I have to tick this option LFE uh, if you have stereo setup don't take this option I have five channel setup 5.1 that's why I have to use this option otherwise if you have a stereo setup don't use this option leave it untick now go to output format now again untick all these options except 24 bit now apply and ok now right click in the player and go to options now select output this is our for video presentation now go to internal filters and no, now go to audio switcher put this slider between 50% to 100% but for safer or for safe sound levels I mean without any kind of this without any kind of distortion I'm using it at 60% press apply and that's it now I'm gonna show you live decoding of Dolby Atmos or true HD 7.1 and DTS HD MA 7.1 and so first DTS HDMI 7.1 sample uh, let's take Pacific Rim it's a great demo worthy material for sound lover I mean this movie is so intense in every manner of sound field so as you can see it has Dolby sorry it has DTS HDMI 7.1 audio now play this movie now as you can see FFD audio processor is getting full or 7.1 now as you can see FFD audio processor is getting full 7.1 uncompressed lossless PCM directly from LV audio decoder take a look here I mean, sorry status all channels are decoding into PCM I mean uncompressed PCM lossless audio and getting inside FFD audio processor you can see that input 7.1 48,000 Hertz uncompressed and output PCM 5.1 48,000 Hertz that's it 
now let's take uh, another sample of uh, sorry Dolby Atmos audio so here's my best Dolby Atmos of all time and I'm gonna play it so here it is so here I have best Dolby Atmos movie ever one of the best Dolby Atmos ever so as you can see it is Mad Max Fury Road and it has Dolby Atmos in it now let's now launch the movie and uh, and here I'm using or playing Dolby true HD or Atmos stream now hit the play button and see it's recording full 8 channels as you can see all 8 channels are directly coming in and LAV is nicely uh, decoding them into PCM as you can see here that's it